Welcome to my mayor's message of February 11th, 2021. I'm Mayor Ron Jensen. On Saturday, February 6th, COVID-19 patient levels for the hospitals in North Texas region dropped below 16% for the first time in nearly two months. If we continue seeing the steady decline and can reach and maintain the 15% threshold for seven days set by Governor Abbott last September, businesses will be able to increase capacity and bars can reopen. Dallas and Tarrant County both reported daily COVID case counts under 1,000 this week. These lower hospitalization numbers and new case counts tell us that something we're doing is working. By continuing to do our part, wearing masks, washing our hands and socially distancing, we will be helping all these local businesses increase capacity. Let's keep it up. Our vaccination site at the theater at Grand Prairie received a new shipment of vaccines from the state and with the help of the city of Irving, we were able to administer 1,000 doses on Wednesday, February 10th. This site is only open on an as-needed basis and is dependent upon getting vaccines from the state. In order to receive a vaccine, you still must register through the county portals. If you have any questions on how to register or need more information on the vaccine, please visit gptx.org forward slash COVID vaccine. I'm also happy to announce that we're going to open up the summit again Monday, March 1st and operate as a fitness only venue. I know how important this facility is to our members and staff is working really hard to ensure that it is a safe environment for everyone. Fitness equipment has been repositioned throughout the facility to accommodate social distancing recommendations. Masks will be required when not actively exercising and reservations will be required for lap swimming and pickleball activities. You can find out more details online at grandfundgp.com forward slash the summit. In other news, early voting for District 2 special election began Wednesday, February 10th. If you are a registered voter and live in District 2, you may vote in this special election. A general election will be held on May 1st for District 5, District 6, and District 8 at large. You can view all candidates, voting locations, and hours at gptx.org forward slash elections. I would like to mention some exciting economic development news we got from carparts.com earlier this week. The 210,000 square foot distribution center, which opened here in Grand Prairie in late 2020, is now up and running and shipping. The facility, which features the latest warehouse technology, has already shipped more than 100,000 packages spanning across gas, hybrid, and electric vehicles. We are proud they chose Grand Prairie as their distribution location, bringing new jobs and economic growth to our area. They recently hired their 200th employee and are ramping up for a busy 2021. Finally, as you may have noticed, it's cold outside. The forecast predicts the winter weather will continue throughout the weekend. According to our streets department, Grand Prairie has about 160 locations prone to freezing with about 15 curves and hills that pose more danger than a standard road. Because of that, our street staff is working to treat these hazardous areas now and avoid major accidents. However, if we do have icy conditions, please stay home. We will update you with any city department closures on our social media pages and our website, gptx.org. And speaking of being cold, that didn't stop dozens of people from showing up to support something that is very important to us last Sunday. Take a look. It's an offer that more than 40 people who came to Grand Prairie's Epic Waters on a chilly February Sunday morning couldn't refuse. You get to come out on a nice brisk morning, jump into our 50 degree uh, temperature water and have a blast. It's the third annual Epic Plunge, Grand Prairie's version of the Polar Plunge, which has become a yearly rite of winter around the world as participants brave frigid winter waters, often to raise money for a worthy cause. And while that's always the case here, the 2021 version was also a little bit different. The current COVID-19 restrictions meant small, socially distanced groups taking turns. But that did little to dampen the level of excitement or exhilaration for anyone who volunteered to take the plunge. I knew that when I woke up this morning and the weather said 39 degrees, I, thought I knew it was going to be a true Arctic plunge. 
Um, as soon as I jumped into the water, it was just a shock of cold. And then you're like, oh my God, oh my God. And you're just trying to find a way to warm up your legs and you're just running, but it's fun. It kind of slowly creeps up on you as it gets colder and colder and you start filling it up to your uh, below the knees. below, And you just start, uh, start a little bit of cramping, but you still, you feel great. You know you're doing it for a good cause. As in previous years, everyone who went into the water represented a donation to help with the maintenance and expansion at nearby Playground Adventures, Grand Prairie's innovative one-of-a-kind playground that welcomes all, including those with special needs or disabilities. Because they deserve to have fun too, because they had disabilities that they just see other kids playing around and they go, why can't I do that? But this playground would help them feel like a normal kid, to have fun and play and learn and laugh. That's what I want to see kids, just happy. There's tons of people here that have the same passion that we do for our community. And it's, it's just a breath of uh, fresh air. It just keeps us going, it gives us energy. This year's Epic Plunge raised $4,100 for Play Grand Adventures. If you'd like to make a donation or for more information, visit PlayGrandAdventures.com. Until next time, y'all stay safe, wear your mask, be kind, and socially distance.